last Tuesday terrorist attack on the medium security custodial center Kujay in Abuja left more reactions, apprehension, and heightened tension in its wake. The United Nations has advised its agencies in Abuja to increase level of security awareness in um, around their premises following the attack. In a security advisory issued by the UN Department of Safety and Security, it asks its employees to avoid sensitive public offices and spending more time at malls and other public areas. The global body warned them that there will be more abductions and acts of terrorism by freed terrorists from the center. Let's begin the discussion with this story by TVC News' Sifon Essien on the states of custodial centers across the country. The origin of what is now known as the Nigerian Correctional Service dates back to 1861 when the Western Thai prison was established. In 1872, the Broad Street Prison was established with an initial inmate capacity of 300. Currently, the Correctional Service oversees the activities of 244 prisons or custodial centers, many of which are between 100 to 150 years old. Most of the facilities we have in the custodial centers are actually outdated. Some of them were built in the 1800s. In Bauchi State, all of us think about three custodial centers there were all built in the 1800s. Most of them now are old, outdated. You go to one of the largest custodial centers in Nigeria, the Portacourt uh, Prison, it's actually built in the early 1900s. As of July the 4th, the custodial centers across the country had a total population of 74,675 inmates, among them, 52,714 awaiting trial. There have been at least 13 security breaches or attacks on custodial centers across the country since October 2020. Notable among them are the prison break by hoodlums under the guise of NSAS protest on two custodial centers in Bini and Oko, both in Edo State, on October the 19th, 2020. On April the 5th, 2021, gunmen attacked the custodial center in Oweri, the Imo State capital. July the 8th, 2021, witnessed the escape of inmates from the custodial center in Jos, the Peju State capital. The custodial center in Kaba, Kogi State, came under attack on September the 13th, 2021. Another attack occurred, but this time it was on the Abolongo custodial center in Oyo State. On October the 22nd, 2021. The ISWAP attack on the custodial center in Kujay is the latest in a string of attacks that has thrown up many questions about the state of security of the facilities across the country. This retired group captain conducted an independent assessment of the facility in Kujay in the wake of the attack. The scanning I did, honest, I see a lot of physical security measures that are not in consonance with what is required for a facility that is holding uh, uh, very dangerous criminals like the Boko Haram insurgents. Section 28, subsection 1 of the Nigerian Correctional Service Act 2019 states that, quote, there shall be provided monitoring devices to protect, control, and safeguard correctional activities, including observatory towers, double perimeter walls, closed circuit television, body scanners, e-monitoring devices, electronically activated alarm systems, and other instruments of restraints. End of quote. Since the passage of that act, how many of these equipment, security equipments and gadgets have been provided for the custodial centers? During the visit to the breach facility by the President of the Senate, who raised concerns similar to those raised by President Buhari, it emerged that the closed circuit television at the facility was not working. There was no motion detection alarm system, and the perimeter walls fell far short of standards. The place looked derelict. The place looked unkempt. The place looks, uh, you know, so dark that, in fact, even the setup encourages an attacker to attack that place. 
Because the security does what is called uh, uh, crime prevention through environmental design. If you have a buffer zone, a buffer zone, security buffer zone in custody, I said that means that once you are coming close there and you have alarm system, once you are breached or get close to the uh, buffer zone, the alarm system will go off, indicating that someone is actually crossing where he or she is not supposed to cross. For those residing within the vicinity of the custodial center in Pujay, the incident of July the 5th is one they would not forget in a hurry. C4 ACN, TVC News, Abuja. For a long time, we will not stop talking about this, um, this um, prison break because a lot of, we saw a lot of uh, vulnerability in part of our security network and architecture. And um, somebody actually suggested that, uh -uh, and they allowed those terrorists to go. What was a uh, so, uh, what? Uh, why didn't we deploy the super tucano to go and bomb them in Kuji? And I was like, super tucano in Kuji? The collateral damage will be more than what we are talking about. But a lot of people feel that these super tucanos that they are like in the museum. That we, we want, uh, uh, you see, we said before now that the super tucanos are not the silver bullets, do not construe the silver bullet that will put an end to mm. insecurity in our country. They are just going to play their part. Mm. And for me, as I've said repeatedly, if I had my way, I would buy a lot more ground attack helicopters than even the Tucanos. Are they operational today? The, the ground attacks. Yes, Tucanos. yes. Because the only thing we can't is. use them around here, mm -hmm. and I know they won't take the risk. You know, I've said this before. Uh, look, if you bought the Tucanos from the Americans, and they told you because of the protests that some Nigerians uh, human uh, rights uh, yes mm -hmm. uh, made to them, that you limit the use to the northeast, mm -hmm. don't expect them to use it outside the northeast. You can designate bandits, terrorists. That is you calling them terrorists. Mm. As far as they are concerned, the modus operandi of those people, the, their target, the people they go after, do not fit the definition, the global definition of terrorism, uh, terrorists. Terrorist. Mm -hmm. Terrorist. So, that you have designated them terrorists does not mean that you can then go no, against deploy. the agreement that you had that you will use it only in the northeast because at that time the terrorists were known to exist only in the northeast now bandits and they're monitoring the movement oh, oh you don't even need where they are mm. i can guarantee you that Every sortie that those guys make is being monitored. Mm. That's the nature of Americans. Uh, America sold, America sold presidential jet to China, mm. and wired the jet. <laughs> but because the Chinese knew them that they were capable of doing it, the Chinese took their time. All the bugging devices that the Americans put on the jet. The presidential jet that they made for China, the Chinese removed everything and notified them that they saw these things. Mm. That's the way. So to imagine while dealing with a country like Nigeria, mm. that you can fly to Kano anywhere and they won't be aware. I tell you, even the Air Force will not make the mistake. They won't take the risk. Mm. The generals there. They won't take the mm. risk. They know what it means. The implication. It, once you do it, you can't get the spears for Tucano again. And if you cannot get the spears, it will be useless. After a while, they can't, they, they can't fly anymore. So they don't want to take that risk. The Tucanos are working and they are doing an excellent job, along with the UAVs, along with other vehicles, other military vehicles, armor uh, personnel carriers, main battle tanks that this administration has bought. They are doing well. We are doing fantastically well in the Northeast. Mm. 
That is a fact. When was the last time you heard that Boko Haram attacked an army base? It's such a long time. The army does not need to lie to anybody anymore that, oh, we repair the attack, as they used to tell us, even when they lose their bases. They don't, they don't need to tell those lies. More and more people will be closer to God now within the army. Because there's no need to lie that we repaired an attack that we did not repair. So they are doing very well in the Northeast. But we have a problem here. And it's not the Tucanos alone that can do this job. The day we discussed the attack on that custodial center in yes. Oyo State, I remember sitting here and advising the interior minister to call a meeting with service chiefs with a view to fortifying the prisons. We can't mm. have a situation in which between October 2020 and now, and now mm. we've had 11 prisons attacked. And every time they attack a prison, the, mo the most hardened criminals are allowed to go. Mm. And we want security to improve in our country. Mm. When mm. killers are running, uh, run, running around, mm. look at the case of the, uh, the, the, the man who was convicted in Delta State. Mm who was freed. The moment he got out of jail, he ran to his village to kill the, the person who testified, testified against him. him. That's the thing. These Boko Haram guys, 68, oh. of, 68 of them, oh God. Uh, they are, they've now been freed. Mm. They will be going around trying that's to hunt down the, people. The, the UN Department yes, that's what they're saying. They're telling their people that, look, don't keep late nights. Abuja can't be safe now because these guys are now on the prowl. Mm. They will be uh, intent on killing people. So. We allowed, as far as I'm concerned, that advice that I gave, I'm sure they did, they would just say, look, Jide has come again. What's the rubbish that Jide is saying? They didn't take the advice. When we hear, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the minister said it's a world-class facility. Hmm. How is Kuje a world-class facility? Where they said the CCTVs were not working. Okay. Where, where are the drones? Where the intrusion detection mm. uh, uh, gadgets mm. were absent? Is that how? Is, uh, are those things supposed to be absent? Where your towers in the world no land? A tower that you went to where have you can, a, a where problem. a sniper is uh, supposed yes. to see them from yes, afar? From afar. Now, I read what the commander of the military base, the army military base, said. Mm. He said that all the um, people that they had protecting that place, mm. including custodial officials, uh, mm. police, and the army, mm. that there were no more than 50. And these guys came with about 300. Ayo, is the same mistake that we made in Chibok. The students that were kidnapped in Chibok were supposed to be taken away from that school to go and write their exam in, in the state capital. They didn't do that. They assumed that because they had a few soldiers there, the school was protected. But well, you, are, you are now, you, you, are, you are imagining that the enemy, when he's coming, will not come with full force. Now, this enemy came, about 300 of them, carrying most likely the same kind of weapons or even superior weapons. I'll tell you superior. I've even read that they have superior weapons. Superior. Maybe what they meant by superior was because they came with IEDs, they yes. came with grenades, you know, they no, came with AA, they mm. came with AA. And, and Some with, no, they always like to even go with RPG. Mm. They came with AA. So the if you have, down. <laughs> if you have all of that, facing people carrying AK-47, there's no more tank. Facing people carrying AK-47, how can they stand up to you? Even the sound of an AA, mm. once you know you, you are carrying and AK-47, I saw one of those guys firing at the prison. It was a GPMG that he was carrying. Mm. That video, That's where the one that machine was machine firing gun. at the door, it was a GPMG that he was carrying. And they filmed it? Yes. Just to, 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 no, to so that you will not be able to deny. Mm. So this is the thing. With 300 people against about 50, how can they survive? Mm. They have, well, but I was told that they even have enough time to even to preach to those people they wanted yeah. to set free and everything, and they, they didn't do it in a hurry. You see, this kind of um, attack, it will take three stages. Mm. The first stage is conception. Mm. Second stage is planning. The third stage is execution. In most countries, they nip it in both at the level of conception, or at least at the level of planning. Mm. That is where intelligence gathering comes in. But when it gets to the level of execution, 
it is costlier. Because at that time, the people who want to carry out this attack, they already, they've already made up their mind. Then there are so many questions that I find it very difficult to answer. 200 to 300 people mm. coming to that place from some 5, 10 kilometers away, mm. and nobody mm. detected mm. them. Nobody. 300 people. And no security. We are not talking of 20, we are not talking them. of 50. Nobody accosted them. Then, how many security checkpoints are you expected to encounter while going to that, to to that correctional center? facility? Well. Does it mean I can just walk in, you know, and then the, the, we only meet only once to mm -hmm. encounter? There are that. supposed to be stages. Stage one, stage two, stage three. And then nobody detected all this. And then after carrying out this operation, which must have lasted for hours, they left. You know, traveling for hours, for mm. kilometers. Mm. Nobody detected them. Mm. When they were returning. When they were returning. And we are talking about almost one week now. Mm. How many people have been arrested? So what we have done is that we are giving, we are giving mm. trophy to terrorism. We have emboldened them. We have told them, we are giving them the impression that there is, there is nothing they cannot do. And, you know, they will get, this is not the first jailbreak. It happened at the bottom. You know, and nothing happened. So I'm really worried. What kind of security system did you have for this kind of mm. prison? There is no doubt that there were internal collaborators. Mm. The invaders knew where their men were. Mm. They knew the time that was good for them to attack. Mm. They knew the escape route. So they had, they, they, they had a very good information. And it was a very perfect you know, uh, plot for them. So I think it's an embarrassment that this thing even happened in the federal capital city. Where the seat of power, all the paraphernalia of, uh, of, of power, of uh, military, DSS, mm. uh, army, navy, mm. this is the headquarters. And these guys just carry Civil out this competition yeah, like right. that. Mm. I think this is one of the. You know, you know, the president seems shocked when he went there. Even the Senate president was, you know, also very, very <laughs> livid. Uh, uh, so the failure of the system. I don't know why the president is shocked. This is not the first time. We've had 11, 11 jailbreaks since October 2020. So what is the shock there? Since October 2020? Yes, we've had, we've had 11. So within two years. Yes. We've had 11. So what is the shock? You can say that mm. you are disappointed. Mm. I would have expected him to say, look, I'm disappointed in my men. They didn't get the job done, this and that. But not to say he's shocked. You can only be shocked when such a thing had not happened before. Yes, but where time. such a thing had happened with some level of regularity, mm -hmm. you cannot come and say you are shocked. No. You are, I mean, you should not say certain things as if you are programmed and my, to say My that. own problem with even the administration is that we don't we won't have people throwing in the towel and heads will not roll. You won't have people punished. Mm. How many people have been punished for this? Because, look... The, um, the people who run the custodial centers, they go to the National Assembly, they pitch for their budgets, they ask for the, the things that they need. Now, if I provide the things that you need, oh. then you must deliver. Yes. If you don't deliver... Too much is given. If you don't deliver, then I will get you off that job. Because I know that Nigerians will ask me, Everybody is talking about the president now. Mm. The people that the president is condoning yes. their ineptitude. Yes. It is not those people that will be blamed at the end of it. It is the president. It is the president. The book. It is the president, the yes. Thing. So you have no reason. Nobody is talking about the controller general. No, do they? The, the, the even prisons. me, I don't know his name. The prison? Nobody is I don't talking know about his the name. minister. Nobody I don't know his name. I'm confessing mm. that I don't know his name. Mm. It is the box stops at the desk of the president. If mm. president does not have this habit of sending people away, even when they are failing, mm. look at how long it took to even send the service chiefs back in and replace them. Mm. It wasn't as if they were doing something unusual. It was Instead, clear that they were failing. The, they were the failing. Spirits. They were failing. The Senate was complaining about them. Everybody. They were, the Senate was make, making motion after motion mm. about their failures. The president continued to hold them. He mm. even extended yeah, this in the same way he extended the tenure of the accountant general of the federation. 
only for us to be Two told months. that the man whose tenure was uh, was uh, extended, extended mm. had actually been stealing our money. At I least that's what the EFCC mm. told us. Mm. And they did not even tell us more money. They were talking in excess of 80 billion mm. by one man. That's a man that the president trusted enough to extend to his tenure against against mm. service yes. rules. Mm. So it's not it's not a matter to be shocked about 11 since October 2020, and you are shocked. In Kaba, my state, the other day, mm. there was another jailbreak. Deliberately, they went to just set people free. Some of those guys had been in those prisons before. Yes. And they have information, and the, uh, you know, the loose system of our prisons mm. ensure that they are even communicating with one another, to communicate with them. They know where, you know how I know that Boko Haram keeps tabs of their people in detention. There was a time that we wanted to do a prisoner swap with them. They mentioned their people that they want freed, mm. and they mentioned the prisons where they were. So how could they have known that if they were not in regular communication mm. with those their people? Mm. And before this attack, mm. they must have been communicating with their people who are inside. Why didn't they go to the other section of the prison? How come it is a section where their own people were that they focused on and ensured that everybody, every Boko Haram detainee got out of jail? So this is something mm -hmm. That a lot of planning went into. We can continue to deceive ourselves that they are tag, they don't know what they are doing, they are mm. this and that. But every time we fail against them, every time the operation succeeds, the joke, the greater joke is on us. Penetrated the system. What? We are spending billions on buying ammo tanks, Lucano, um, heavy duty military vehicles. But we are being humiliated by people who wear probably slippers. People have no training in the best military schools. So it's, it's, it's embarrassing. And unless we address systemic problem uh, of corruption, of, of lack of inclusion, this system may continue to produce more terrorists. More so that those that carry out atrocities do so and nothing happens to them. I hope this government we, this country will be better by next year hmm. when the new administration comes in. Okay. We have a caller. Adi is calling us from London. Yeah, good Thank afternoon. you for joining us, Adi. Um, yes, go ahead, please. Adi, you are welcome back. Yes. I hope Thank you, you brother. Uh, yes, we cover the my channel uh, is coming. Uh, you see, this is a security issue we are talking about. I try time to see the real facility. Because it's getting to a dangerous level now. You see, a desire changes nothing. A vision changes something, but a determination changes everything. Because until the president determines that his enough is enough, then things will not go right. You see, our people now are living in. You see, that's why I thank God for the government he gave us in London State. It's the current government. We want to get rid of all these uh, fears in the heart of people. Thank you for your contribution, Every day they found it here about this security issue. They're going 